Premier League is continuing with match day two this weekend with a host of games lined up for us on Saturday and also on Sunday. We'll have, I think, at least I think seven games played on Saturday with three games being played on Sunday. I'm going to look into each out of each and every game that uh, is going to be played this weekend as far as the Premier League is concerned. Once again, guys, I say welcome to HW Sports 90 the latest sports updates. Um, Brighton versus Manchester United. This is our first game on game week two. The early kickoff on Saturday. The lunchtime kickoff as they call it uh, you know, somewhere. Uh, we have Brighton uh, welcoming Manchester United at the annexed or the Amex Stadium. Uh, Brighton had an impressive opener against Everton where they had a clean sheet and also scored goals. Uh, United, on the other hand, also they had a great opener against Fulham uh, at home at, at Old Trafford, where uh, the new signing Joshua Zekze scored the only goal for United. Uh, you know, I watched the game, it was played on Friday, the first game of the season, so you know, everybody lined up to watch. And, uh, you know, after months, months of no Premier League football, we were finally back at Old Trafford uh, last Friday. And uh, having watched this match, I realized that United... Uh, they are just uh, they're like um, they are eighty percent there to be uh, you know uh, contesting for the top four because uh, they played quite well. The only thing missing that uh, I think Ten Hag should work on is uh, finishing those chances. Uh, Bruno Fernandez wasted two clear chances uh, to make it two 0 for Manchester United in the first half. In the second half, Joshua Zekze I came in. As for his debut, he did well, he scored the goal. And uh, in the last minute of the game, Rashford and Gunnar, they had a chance of uh, making it 2-0. But somehow, they failed to score after a blunder from Calvin Basse. Um, so, this is where United needs to work mostly. We saw that against Manchester City in the FA Community Shield, where Rashford missed two clear chances. And uh, also, it happened against Fulham. You can't be missing those chances if you want to fight for the Premier League title and also to being uh, to be in the top four. Those chances you must take them. They are clear chances. But if United can work on that, I think um, they can be uh, considered as a, a threat as far as the top four is concerned because uh, uh, they did quite well. They played well, and uh, we saw the difference from last season's last season's games where they were playing without you know without vision and without plans. And uh, as, I, as, I, as I said earlier, Brighton, they also had an impressive game. And uh, I think uh, I cannot underrate them at any level because uh, they're, in the last two seasons, uh, they've been great. And then they've, they've been, uh, you know, uh, getting results uh, from, the top four, from the top six. And uh, I think uh, them hosting United at, uh, at home is an advantage. And uh, they'll be hoping to build in. Uh, also to you know to have the they are they have the momentum after impressive open against Everton Everton away and now they're playing at home but uh, I think United uh, in terms of good uh, in terms of quality they have a uh, uh, greater players than than Brighton but uh, and, and that, that's why I think United might uh, you know I uh, might edge them out uh, but uh, it's not, not it's not it's not it's not going to be easy for uh, United to win against Brighton away. And um, this is going to be Ten Hag's first, you know, task of the season, getting that points, the maximum points aw aw away from home uh, against uh, a team like Brighton. So um, I think United, they have what it takes to get the job done against Brighton, but they should not underrate Brighton at any level. Let me know what you think about this game. Will Brighton a win against United or will United build up to last season's ultra for the 2-0 uh, build up to last season's 2-0 win and also got it done this new season. Another game uh, involving two uh, interesting clubs is Aston Villa versus Arsenal. Remember what happened last season? Arsenal did not get any points against Aston Villa last season. They won. Aston Villa won 1-0 at, at home. I think they won. Uh, they won. Uh, no, they won uh, two nil. Yeah, they don't. They won one nil at home, and they won two nil at uh, the Emirates Stadium, which I think uh, Aston Villa 
was one of the reasons Arsenal did not win the Premier League last season. So I think Arsenal are coming to, to this game with a lot of a revenge. Um, but Aston Villa and uh, they, they they have a good team as well. They w- they won their first match of the season two one against West Ham. But I wasn't convinced by the way they played. Uh, even though uh, West Ham they've uh, they've they've had a, a good summer transfer window uh, where they brought in a number of players, uh, which I, I was expecting the game to be tight and it was tight. But uh, Aston Villa did not impress me because uh, West Ham. I uh, did not start their oh no the new signings most of them and uh, Aston Villa could have taken that as an advantage but somehow uh, they won to one years uh, uh, John Duran scored the winning goal for uh, Aston Villa I remember John Duran has been linked with a move to uh, West Ham where he had he was seen I uh, don't oh know making the 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 hammer sign on his life but uh, he apologized uh, for the Villa fans after scoring against uh, West Ham last weekend so arsenal they also had a good a great start to the, to the season tunnel win at home against wolves because Osaka once again showing why he is that that guy you know scoring a goal and also assisting i others uh, to make it two nil and three points for the gunners as they you know they hope uh, they are they are hoping to win it this year after not winning it for two decades now um they did well but once again I wasn't impressed by the way Arsenal played. I think uh, it's the first game of the season, you know, blah, 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 all that. Uh, the team is still, you know, uh, catching up, you know, uh, some players were fitted in the Euro, so they did not have the, they did not have a good preseason. Yeah, and be the course, but uh, somehow Arsenal, they are a strong team, even though they didn't have their best performance uh, yet, but they managed to score two goals, three points in a clean sheet. This shows you how what Mikel Arteta has done with this club uh, since his appointment. So uh, I expect Arsenal to win it because I don't think Aston Villa have the, what it takes to win it against Arsenal. Um, I know that they have a, a great coach, you know, Emery, they have good players, you know, great goalkeeper. But uh, I think Arsenal, uh, they'll be coming in prepared, you know, with the new, new, new tactics. And uh, I think, and uh, I, I know uh, it's too early to say, but I think Arsenal, will win it easily against Aston Villa this time round. Let me know what you think. Do you think I'm right uh, giving Arsenal a go, uh, you know, uh, a chance to win? I think Arsenal will win it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Cool. Can Aston Villa make it three out of three against Arsenal? Or will Arsenal come in and revenge for last season's troubles? Villa cost them. Other match. And that tight, tight match, interesting match, uh, will be at the London Stadium. That is, uh, I will be in the Tottenham Stadium. That is Tottenham versus Everton. Tottenham um, versus Everton. Uh, both both two teams, they did have uh, the perfect start to the season with Everton losing uh, to, Bright- to Brighton and uh, Tottenham uh, drawing 1-1 to uh, Leicester City. We, a game which I think uh, they could have won. Or maybe they could have lost so i think they, they are happy for that for you know, getting a point away at Leicester city you know uh, for, for for everton i think uh they have a lot to do um they had a poor start to the season against uh brighton and uh if they continue like that i think in the next uh eight weeks they'll be fighting for relegation which i don't think most everton fans will be hoping for that so uh, I expect changes at Everton's coaching, you know, uh, you know, uh, Tottenham's bench if the result will not go their way in the next uh, six weeks. Sean Dyche might be sacked if the result does not go their way because I don't think Everton fans will be happy if they get relegated. Having seen the way they performed against Brighton, they were poorly, and uh, now they're facing Tottenham Hotspurs. Um, other team, other, other great team, that's just like Brighton. And if they play the same way they play against, against Brighton, I think Spurs will score uh, not two, but three to four goals with an Everton. That will be a poor start to the season. Nevertheless, I think Tottenham will win against Everton. Another match is uh, Manchester City versus Ipswich Town. Um, 
City opened uh, their new season with a, a 2 0 win against Chelsea at the Stamford Bridge, where I think uh, Chelsea were, were the better team, but somehow they lost. So it's a surprise because I don't know how uh, how that happened, but uh, somehow Chelsea lost, having those chances. They didn't they, did, they didn't take them. Uh, Master City had chances. They took theirs with Ealing Haaland scoring the first half and Matteo Kovacic scoring against his former club um, in the second half to make it two nil. A clean sheet, three points and two goals for the, the, the citizens as they embark on a journey to defend their title and hoping to win it five times in a row. Um, as I said, I wasn't impressed by the way Man City played, although uh, because I think they were missing their tel talisman, that is Rodri, in midfield. Um, but somehow again, Chelsea they were poor in terms of you know, uh, taking the, the, the chances they were poor and um i think my seat was ipswich town ipswich they did well against liverpool in the first half but in the, in the second half i think they were tired and allowed liverpool to score two goals thanks to Mohamed salah's second half brilliance a goal and assist and it was enough to get it uh done for arne slot's first game as a liverpool manager City versus Ipswich Town, I think it's a win for Manchester City. Let me know what you think. Do you think Ipswich can surprise the citizens at home? Or will it be more goals, more goals in Ipswich Town goal? Um, on Sunday, we have uh, Liverpool versus, uh, versus Brentford. Uh, Liverpool, they had a great open against Ipswich, as I said earlier, to win. Goals from uh, Diego Jota and Mohamed Salah with impressive start scoring again in the opening uh, league opening game of the season. Liverpool they they did well. Brentford they won two one against Crystal Palace, having acquired Fabio Cavallo from Liverpool. I think uh, they they are a threat. This game Liverpool they need to be serious because uh, against Ipswich Town they didn't play well. Um, somehow Ipswich didn't didn't score a goal. They had a penalty overturned. And uh, Liverpool, I don't know, scored, and uh, that 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 was it for the town. And I think I say if if um Liverpool will play the same way they played in the first half against Brentford against uh Ipswich Town, I think Brentford will take an advantage of the chance that they will create, and uh, it's going to be a long long day for Liverpool. I back Liverpool to score to win the match, but I think uh, Brentford. I uh, will also get a goal, and I think uh, maybe Liverpool can win it at uh, 90 minutes. But uh, it will be a tough, tough match. The same as Brighton versus Man United. It's going to be a tough match, and Liverpool, for them to win, <coughs> they need to do more than what they did against Ipswich Town. <coughs> Sorry, um, another one involving the top the, the top six is Wolves. Welcoming Chelsea. Our uh, Wolves, they started their season against Arsenal away. Uh, somehow they lost 2-0, but I think they had a good game. Chelsea, they lost 2-0 at home to Manchester City, which I was, uh, if Chelsea had, uh, were a serious team, they could have won that game because Manchester, Manchester City were not at their best and uh, they were making mistakes more so in the midfield and also in defensive in, in defense so chelsea did not capitalize on that and um wolves um they're a great team and they can cause havoc also i think uh chelsea uh you know they won two nil against Soviet in the qualification for you know, UEFA conference league we saw how they struggled in the first half but in the second half they had a penalty scored by nkunku and also we have and we had only madweke scoring and for chelsea to make it two nil and uh, heading into the uh, second leg with a 2 nil advantage. So uh, I think Chelsea, there's still a lot of work to be done. And uh, this is where I say, give manager the time. It will take time for this Chelsea squad to start, uh, you know, uh, to start uh, giving results, game in, game out. And uh, uh, it's only patience is what is needed uh, for this Chelsea team to be able to start, you know, um, playing well. And uh, that is what the, their, their owners need to understand. You don't just hire a manager, then expect him to work wonders in 
months having uh like 40 players to work with is not easy so wall versus chelsea i'm going for a draw i think wolves will get a point against chelsea um back on saturday we have uh two more games i didn't talk about uh so palace versus west ham i um, mean also we have southampton versus nottingham forest palace they had uh, a bad start they lost against Brent benford west ham also lost against uh Aston via and i think um i think west ham can get the first win against crystal palace on saturday southampton versus nottingham forest they did well against newcastle but somehow they lost to Jolington's goal uh, Nottingham Forest they do 1-1 one, one with FC Bournemouth I'll be going for a draw between Sutton and Nottingham Forest Bournemouth versus Newcastle at the, the third game on Sunday Bournemouth had a draw against Nottingham Forest Newcastle on 1-0 against Southampton but, but even though they had a record uh, they had a poor game uh, they played defensively for the rest of the game and uh, they scored a goal which I think uh, Prove that they are a great team as well. So I uh, expect Newcastle to get the job done again against FC Bournemouth on Sunday. So guys, these are all my predictions for this weekend's match day two Premier League. I expect United uh, to get it two and two, Aston Villa to get in two and two against uh, other Arsenal to get two and two against, against Villa, Man City to get it six out of six, six points out of six against Ipswich Town. I expect uh, Liverpool to win it against Brentford, but Chelsea I think they'll get a draw against Wolves. Bournemouth to lose against Newcastle. I uh, expect Fulham to, you know, Fulham against Leicester. I expect Fulham to get their first three points of the season against Leicester at home. Let me know, let me know what you think about my Premier League match day two predictions. Your your comments will be highly welcomed. Thanks guys. Um thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your support guys. I appreciate it a lot. And remember we have a second channel. The link is in the description below. You can go and subscribe because I'll be posting videos there soon. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.